they they can they can stop their video. They, all they have to do is hit stop video. Okay, and that's right. You On can the stop of your their video. Screen. Um, yeah. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are in a new year, twenty twenty one, and uh, LibriVox. Uh, is going on. Apparently, it's going to go on for a long time, at least another three or four months. And what? Uh, <laughs> oh, you hadn't heard? <laughs> no, I haven't heard what. You know, Are we being been... canceled, cultured, or what? <laughs> no. no. You think about that. What happens if if somebody cancels the internet? I know it can't be canceled, or, but I don't know. Um, it sure can, and it's any old time. It's just profitable not to, but um, I have profitable no idea. for the powers that be not to cancel us. But they um, could. We 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 were talking before. By the way, welcome everyone. I'm waiting for some people. We were talking before um, Michelle starts about uh, microphones. She noticed that I have my blue yeti upside down, and it's this mm -hmm. upside down because it's attached to a little boomy woomy. Mm -hmm boom mm -hmm. and i just moved it to a took it off my desk where it was clamped and i moved it over onto a um a bookcase the reason is of course as i told her is that i would be recording and and about the wizard of oz and i'd hit my desk and every time i bumped my desk it would cause a mm -hmm. noise or my cats would jump on the desk it would cause a noise so i moved it over here and now it's not attached to my desk i am so brilliant sometimes it scares me <laughs> So we're going to have a session, a Zoom session, in a, maybe a couple of weeks, about recording setups. Um, Michelle, could you show us your box that you have? Okay, I have the same a microphone that you have. The, the little um, box. I have the, the Yeti Blue. Hey, and Ashley. I have it. Oh, shoot. And I have it. Um, hold on a minute. Well, I to, no, I don't have to share my screen. Look, I can just, I can just turn it around like this. My, and you yeah, see that's, the card, she has, Amazon cardboard box that I covered with, with contact paper, and I lined the inside of it with three quarter inch styrofoam because I read somewhere that that's the way to create yourself a box. I, I read this on one of the LibriVox wikis, and I created the box and. It does keep out some of the noise, but like the, the, um, it keeps out the road noise from outside. It really does help, but it doesn't make me sound any better. So well, I, I got to make some changes. I got to get better. Yeah. The, the point is I've tried everything. You here, Rich, I'm sure everybody has tried many things and some things don't work. I made those boxes and didn't improve my sound quality at all. Anyway, so today we're going to be... <laughs> We will have a session on recording setups, which means how do you record setup? How do you do set up your recording to get the best sound? Um, what have you tried in the past that didn't work? I, I'll be announcing it. What have you tried that does work? Okay. Um, Rich, you should be editing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Rich, you should be here. And every I time I look I at you, Ashley, I, I think I'm looking at myself. 30 years ago. <laughs> mm. It's nice to be young. Oh, I love you. What is it? A clothespin holding your, your back screen together? It is. Yeah. I've just set this up today. I've got, um, you know, you know, the, the broom holders that you stick on the wall. Uh -huh. uh, I've got those stuck on my ceiling with tension rods in, cause I didn't want to start drilling in my <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> Ingenious. Yeah. Well, you're very welcome. And Adrian, I don't see your picture, but I know you're here. I know you're there. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't see hear. I see her. Adrian. I Stevens? see her face. Adrian. Oh, oh no, Adrian. No. That's right. Adrian. I don't okay. see his picture. That's Adrian. The first topic okay, to, of today is to do with Wiki. As we all know, the Wiki is a universal, no, not universal, a worldwide it's a, um, phenomenon where people have put billions of pieces of information about everything in the world. For example, if I wanted to know about Jane Eyre, I could go to my wiki and it would tell me yeah, all kind of stuff. Shakespeare plays. Um, I was looking up Aldous Huxley a few minutes ago. Um, and 
the point is we have recorded books. Oh, here's the there's my camera. We have recorded books, a, a lot of these books, thousands of these books, and some of them don't have a link back to our wiki. So if a person is reading about Aldous Huxley's Chrome Yellow or something, and they want to, if they see a link that says, you know, audio book is here, it links back to our catalog. Is that right, Michelle? Am I? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. So the problem is it's difficult to do. Michelle is going to walk us through how to do that. And this is this is recording. Yes, it's still recording. And mm -hmm. so if we wish to do that, you record a book, you want to link it. This is the process. It's very delicate process. It has to be followed exactly or the wiki will kick you, will not allow you. Okay. The editors that, will kick you out. Well, the editors, <laughs> yeah. Always kindly. <laughs> They're protecting right. us. They're protecting us, but anyway, uh, Michelle, go for it, girl. I'm all ears. I got my pen right here. Okay. Um, well, um, I'm going to try to hold this down to 30 minutes because, of course, it does have some details, and I'm not going to go into every detail, but we can always get back in touch with me later. Being as it's being recorded this time, I hope people will be able to come back and refer to this. I'm going to start by sharing my screen, uh, my whole screen. And I want to make sure that everybody can see is see this clearly. Can you see this, this yeah. uh, Excel sheet clearly oh. or is it fuzzy? Mm -hmm. It's clear. It's fine. Oh, Donald. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the way I think. Okay. Um, when I first joined LibriVox, I was looking through the forum. Okay, let me, I'm opening up, let me open up a forum page. Here's the forum. And I was really interested in how to volunteer. Of course, you know, you can record and you can proof listen. And I love this one, Volunteers Wanted Other LibriVox Projects. So I clicked on that many years ago. And uh, when you look down that, one of the very, the very first thing you see as a sticky is LibriVox and Wikipedia links. I'm showing you this so that you can go find it on your own after this. You click on this and you will find out that there, of course, I look through everything. People have been trying to do Wikipedia links since 2005 when Hugh first got involved got with Wikipedia and, and got the rules down. And now we've got this man and he doesn't have a signature, so I do not know his name. He's been around, he's an admin and he's been around a long time. D-L-O-L-S-O-21. Does anybody know his name? His real name? Phil, do you know think, his name? I think that's David, but... Um, um, David? I think it's David, but I don't know. Let's just move along. Know. But <laughs> at, at anyway, at any rate, so I read through his, I read through his um, instructions, and one of the first things he shows is that people have been making Wikipedia links, and there is an Excel spreadsheet that uh, has been trying to keep track of this over the years. I've already, if you click on this link, it opens up. I've already got mine open. So, you see, oh no, I don't want to open that. Never mind. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is a Wikipedia links for the author. You can have Wikipedia links for author. You see it says up there, and then it has the name of the author, the date of birth, date of death. Is it linked to Wikipedia already? Yes. And here is the link. And I don't know what this external link to LibriVox means, and the wiki date when it was, when it was, um, when was the link made? So if you want to participate in the pro project of making links, you also have to report back what you've done so that we can keep this current. And that's what I wanted to tell you about that. It's real important that you also have another spreadsheet right here. And this one has to do with, ah, phooey, I did that wrong. It has to do with the you have the author and you have the book. Now here's the one, the audio, Wikipedia links audio books. And what that collects is the LibriVox ID number. We will talk about that. The name of the book and the Wikipedia page that 
this link is in, okay, that the link is in. If I, um, I could pick any one of these and, and give you an example, but I'm not going to really do that because I'm going to show you a different way that each one of these links to a project and it links to it in a special place on the Wikipedia page and we're going to cover all of that. Because if you want to participate in this, you have to also report back what you did, okay? So, so much for that, and that's, and you can read the whole dang thing, which is like a two whole pages worth of commentary. And when I contacted Mr. David, if that's his name, via PM, he told me that this is a project that's been going on and off for years, that people get enthused about it and then they lose their enthusiasm. So, of course, that enthused me because I like to do things like this. I like to organize things. So, we're going to take you through the path of how you start, how you create Wikilinks. I created this page, Create Wikipedia Page Links to LibriVox Authors and Books. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, BCs and Soloists. This worksheet will teach you how to link your cataloged audiobook to a Wikipedia author or book page. If it's available, follow these directions. And we're going to actually do that, but these directions will be available to you. The, um, the most important thing down here, though, before you agree to participate on this if you do or let's say you're a soloist and you just want to link your own page you don't you don't really want to participate as a volunteer like in a big way but you'd like to link your own page or if you're a bc you'd like to link your own page or even if you're an mc you'd like to help your bc and soloist link things but these are the rules that hugh mcguire our founder worked out with wikipedia okay and he put this on one of those early pages. I want to go over every one of these with you. Wikipedia is careful not to become a link farm. They're always on the lookout for self-promoting spammers. Okay. And a lot of our, sometimes our links have been rejected because they're considered spam. These rules right here are going to safeguard that you, you aren't considered a spammer. Uh, one, a link from a Wikipedia book, a Wikipedia book page to an LV page containing all iterations of the book is good. Linking to a specific title is not good. So if you have five iterations of um, Mysterious Island, you cannot link to your favorite authors, you know, your favorite one of them. You have to link to the page that shows all iterations of the book. Okay. Uh, if you a link from a Wikipedia author page to an LV page has to list all the books and stories that that author has done for us. It can't just link to, you know, um, it has to link to all, you know, every, every instance when an author has done that we've recorded some, something by that author. Before adding links, you have to become a Wikipedia member with a username and password. It's really easy to do. It only takes a minute. I won't walk you through the process, but I'll show you where to do it because guest edits are viewed with suspicion. So become a member if you're going to do this. Avoid adding many links from many different pages to one LV site all at once. This sets off link spam radar, and I honestly don't know what that means. <laughs> if your link gets removed, do not revert the deletions. Like, don't go put them back. That is not viewed well in Wikipedia land. You can PM me or whoever is in charge of this project, which is me right now, and I'll try to resolve the issue. Okay? Now, creating Wikipedia links. There, if there is no Wikipedia page for your book, you might consider creating one. But this is beyond the scope of this project. And here are some links that can help you out. So that's as far as I'm going to go on this page, and we're just going to get right on into follow these directions. Open your LibriVox catalog page. I've pre-selected a catalog page, of course, because um, these, uh, I just want to let you know, LibriVox new release audio, this is a, a RSS feed that I get every day. You can get it too. 
which shows every new release that we have. I do these because I keep track of the covers that I make. Like I'm making a cover for this one, so it's red. I'm making a cover for this one. I've signed up for that, so it's red. And once I've completed them, I turn them green. So I have a track. I'm using this to track my own volunteer work with cover making. But I'm also going to open this one and show it to you to show you how do you make a link to Wikipedia. This is a good example. Every project that's cataloged has this links section down at the bottom. You all know about that. And it, this one has a Wikipedia link to the author and a link to the book. Ha ha. So I can use this as a good example for this tutorial. Let's click on the Wikipedia link for the author. Let's see if it needs um, Michelle. If it needs a link. Uh, yes. Pardon, pardon me a minute. I want to welcome some more. We got two or three or four people. Sure, I want to want to mention that we are recording this, so your lovely face is going down or up into the mysterious net, and it will be posted. Okay, go ahead, Michelle. Okay. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, let me just take a look and see who, who we got. Welcome, here. TJ. <laughs> oh, we got we got Colleen and Adrian, and we got TJ. Good, thank you, and welcome. Hi. And hopefully, this is being recorded, so you'll be able to go back. You so betcha. basically, what we've done, and I'll just go back to make sense with this. We're we're looking at a project that's just been cataloged, and we're looking for the links, and we're going to check and see if they need a link back. There's a Wikipedia author link. We're going to click on it. And we're going to, where would the Wikipedia, where would the LibriVox links be? Okay. They're always at the bottom under external links. Okay. This is a category, external links. This is the only place we can link, make our links. And it says works by Edward Carpenter at LibriVox. Somebody has already done this link. Let's click on it because I want to show you what page does it link to. It links to the author page that we're all familiar with. And it has all the iterations of everything we've got, including the one we're working on. So we don't need to do the author page. That's already been taken care of. So we can go back to the catalog and let's check out the book page. Wikipedia book. I'm going to click on that. And, oh, there is no external links. Ha ha. No. This means, this means that I have some work to do and I can show oh. you how to do it. Thank you, dear. Okay. Oh. Now, if you look up here at the top, you will see Miss Fry O is already logged in. You know, I'm logged in because my name's there and also well, you go lay tell down. me to it's log only out. Yeah, I'm going to lay down. Good. Now, I never okay. log out. Wikipedia right ahead, is, once you sign up and you once you join, you can stay logged in for up to for a year without ever logging out. So I never log out because I'm, I'm, I'm busy and, you know. So anyway, because I'm, because I've got a, um, because I've got a, a, a username and password, I'm eligible to edit the source. You see where I clicked edit source? <laughs> I edited the source up at the top of the page because there is no external links. There are no external links showing. So I'm going to create an external links reference. You see here, you, hear, you see here where it's got equal, I mean, uh, what do you call that? Equal sign, equal sign, references, equal sign, equal sign. I can make external links the same way. Equal sign, equal sign, external links. Equal sign, equal sign. And right underneath that, I can make, I can, oh shoot, I can put, um, I can put the code that I need to put in here. But what is the code? Well, that's when you're going to refer to my page, this page here, there to is create a book link, because we're going to create, we're going to, we don't need to make an author link because it's already got that. We're going to make a book link. Here is the code right Michelle? there. Yes. Michelle, where yes. can we find this page? Yes. Where can we, where can we find this document? 
Oh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, after we've uh, been through this and I don't find any more mistakes, I'm going to upload it and it, there'll be a link to it uh, probably in the, in our wiki page. Yes. By the way, Phil, I want to, I want to send you a little correction that Trisha sent to me. This is not a wiki. We're not having a wiki tutorial. Wikis are LibriVox wikis. It's a completely different thing from Wikipedia. So we got to be careful. We get our nomenclature right. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this link right here. Okay, and I'm gonna go back over to here and under external links, I'm going to paste that code in. You see the code? Yes. I just pasted the code in. Now this will all be in the page I'm gonna give you where it says title. We need to type in the title. The inter. What is it? What is the title? Oh, I forgot. The intermediate sex. I'm going to go up to the top of the page. I did that on purpose just to. Yeah, just copy it. There you go. Copy it. I always like to copy and paste. I never like to type because it's too, too, too easy to screw it up. Just paste that in. Okay. Now, author's name. Go back up to the top. Hmm. Where is his name? Edward Carpenter. There's his name. Copy it. And paste it in. Author's name. Paste it in. Oh, author's name. You got to put all of it. Paste it in. Now, watch this. We're going to edit. Uh, briefly describe your changes. This is where, if you don't do this just right, you will get in trouble. Fortunately, it's in it's all in this page that I've given you, but since I'm adding the author template, I already, since I've done it a hundred times, external links, add LibriVox author template. Okay, we're adding a template. They like templates. Wikipedia loves templates. I'm gonna click watch the page because if anything goes wrong and it gets deleted, I want to get, I'm a member, they know my email, I'm going to get a notification that they've jettisoned my thing. Now I'm going to, do not click a minor edit. This is not considered a minor edit. Minor edit is if you just change a letter, you know, a misspelling or something. So now we're gonna show preview, y'all watch. Show the preview. There's the preview and look here. We now have external links that I just made and showed y'all how to make. And we have the link that we made and we're gonna to check to make sure it actually goes to the right place. You see, do you see at the top there is a, do you want to leave this site? Yeah. You see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and leave the site. Don't be afraid. <gasps> Don't be afraid, I've done it and it works. So there's our book. Now, if there were more iterations of this book, they would all be listed. And that's what LibriVox wants. They don't want you to just link to one site. So we realize it's taken us to the right place. Now we're going to hit the back arrow. And there we are again. Yay! So we got it right. And now we've, we, we think we know we've got it right. We've seen the preview, we've gone back, we know it's right, and we're gonna publish our changes. Boof! We published our change. There it is. And there it is, and it looks just fine. Okay? Looks good. Looks good. It looks real good. Now, uh, now what you need to do, and you will find this in the instruction sheet that I gave you, but I also, I'm gonna also post this little thing here. You're gonna, it says right here on the instruction sheet, let me get back there. It says, when you finish, when you finish, report your added link. Once you've successfully added, now this is the sheet I'm gonna post. Once you've successfully added your link, copy and fill out the, and PM this notice to Miss Fry. Right now it's Miss Fry, it could be somebody else. For inclusion in our Wikipedia links spreadsheet, those spreadsheets that I showed you. You're gonna put in your subject line, please, Wikipedia link. Because what I'm gonna end up doing is copying and pasting from what you send me 
I'm going to paste it into those Excel sheets. The type of book, okay? Okay, so here we go. Uh, I don't want to, I don't really want to mess with all this, so I'm going to, I also created this little, I always work with these notepad things. The subject line of the thing is Wikipedia, the body, type, book or author. Well, it's going to be book. Oh, shoot. I'm going to copy this down here to my work file. It's, this is going to be, this is what you're going to send to me. A book. It's a book. Your username is Ms. Fry. The relation to the project is volunteer. The book or author name. The book name is the, uh, I can't ever remember it, intermediate sex. Isn't this appropriate, this book? to today's times, but it was recorded before 1920s. The LibriVox page link, the LibriVox page linked to, I didn't save that. I forgot to tell y'all, I would open up this little worksheet before you even start. Open up the worksheet, fill it out as you go along, okay? And then when you get, when you get here, LibriVox title, you're gonna copy and into here exactly the code that you put. Alas, I didn't do that. Oh, shame, shame on me. But you get the gist. Fill it in as you go along. I'll send that to you. Or you could even just do it right here and open this every single time. Uh -huh. Okay, so there we did that. Now I'm gonna you you know how to add an external link, you know, and you know how to add a book author. And I'm gonna show you one more thing. We're going to go back over here to another book, which is, I think it's this Mary Meg book. Wait, which book? Yeah, Mary Meg. I chose this ahead of time because it illustrates something different. We're going to go to this project, Mary Meg, and look at there. We have something, but we have the author. It links to the author page there's the author page william bowen author and look at the works look at all the works external links works by william bowen for project gutenberg library of congress congress but no external links for us so what we're going to do is going to go we can do this pretty easily we're going to go over here to create an author link. Okay. This is a little going to be a little tricky. This is the code that you're going to have to enter. Author link. You're going to go over here to external links. You see where it says edit source. You know, I'm going, to do, I'm going to tell you, before I had to edit, uh, before I had to hit this edit source up here, because there was no external links, okay? They didn't have that code. But now it says they do have external links. I just hit edit source like that. Oh, let me go back. You want to know ahead of time, where do you want? I'm go, I want mine to be under William Bowen. Or I can have it above what works by Will. You know, but I'm going to just, I came in third, so I'm going to put it under, under Library of Congress. All right. I don't want to be a hog and put mine first. So external links. Okay. This must be the one. And I think I'm going to put mine there. There's my link. Uh-oh. It's asking me for an author ID. What the hell is that? Shit. Where do I find my author ID? Hmm. Well. Well, I well. Got that ahead of time. Well, crap. Oh, look. So I'm going to go. I'm going to show you how to find it. I did that on purpose, y'all, just to show you how to oh. find it. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. So. I did. So, William, you've got William Bowen. He is your. He is your author, and we're putting in an author link. So I'm going to type in William Bowen because our search engine does not care. See, I've already done this. Just to let you know, I did this ahead of time. I'm going to click on William Bowen. We're putting in an author link, not a book link. And there is William Bowen. 
We're going to click on William Bowen. If this is all in my instruction job. You don't have to memorize anything. Now, the ID of the guy is hidden right up here in the URL. You see that? My goodness, look One, at four, that. 4663. Six, yeah. That's the only way that I have been able to figure out how to get the author ID. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to where I was putting my ID. See where it says number? I'm going to yeah. paste that. 14663. Six, I'm going to go edit summary. And what, what is my instructions? I'm adding an author template not a book template i'm adding an author template this as i said before this language i didn't make it up wikipedia made this up i want to watch the page in case they jettison me i'm going to go show preview after you've done this 10 times you don't have to you don't have to look at it <laughs> there's my preview look works by william boyd at librivox and it's right under the others okay now nice. I'm yeah. And I'm going to double Yay. check here. I'm going to leave the page. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Leave the page. And there it is. Right there. Just like we said it should be. Because the, the somebody, some genius created the code that works on Wikipedia. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay. So I know that my link is good. And I know... That, that is good. And I don't need to show the preview because I just checked it out. I'm going to publish my changes. <gasps> there you and go. Now it's, and now it's done. And I've done the same thing I did before. I forgot to copy the code. Oh, I forgot to. Y'all can't forget. you got to remember. Because now we have to copy this again like that and you have to report it right this time you're doing an author you send you're going to send me a pm author my lv username is going to be miss fry you're just going to copy this relationship to the project volunteer i'm trying to make it easy for y'all but it is it is it is harder than just you know scrambling one egg the author's name is going to be you see, you just you just change this up a little bit. The LibriVox page link too. I didn't. I should have been doing that all along. You should be doing this as you go. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. The code added was the author ID, and there's his number. I didn't do that. Nope. Should I've lost his number? Crap. One four whatever it is. Don't laugh at me. I'm doing the best I can. I know. Good, good. Oh, gosh, there's my phone. I'm, I'm not answering it. Hey, here's Bill. That's a pretty ring. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's hey going there. on, guys? Where am I? So listen, I mean, where so are you? It, uh, so is... we've just finished, except that I'm spanking myself for, because what you should do, everybody, you should open <laughs> up. You should open up this little notepad thing when you start. And when you find something that you built. want to link to, hey. go ahead and add that in to begin with so you won't so you'll actually have it as you go along. Do your research and fill in as you go. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Yes. Everybody yeah, understands. Yeah, Michelle, I have one quick question about that. We oh well, this this last um page that you're showing us uh, your notepad, we send that to yeah. you. Yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you're going to, yeah, you're going to find me somewhere and you're going to, or you're going to go to your private messages and just send a message to Ms. Fry. You can friend me, so so, you, so it'll be there in your little friends list. You click on that and you type, print, uh, copy this into your subject line. Okay. And then type, okay. uh, cop, copy this into your uh you know, fill it out in your note. Fill it out as you go along, and then just send it to me. From this, from so what that's... you send me, I should be, I should be able to fill in the um, the Excel spreadsheet without too much work. It'll okay. just be me copying and pasting what you send me. Okay. So that's so you can keep track of all the uh, all the edits that are taking place from from all the Correct. volunteers. Correct. Okay. Yes, it is really. 
It is real important. I guess, has everybody seen the Wikipedia links? I mean, some of y'all came in too late for that. Let me show you one of the. This is the page that um, the powers that be, the people that came along before me, um, this is what they gave me. And this is from the from the PM you sent me. I'm going to be able to copy the, the title of the book, the Wikipedia page of the book. I'll be able to put yes in here and the date that we linked it to. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. And if you can also put notes probably in the comments. I'm going to put um, that I'm going to put your, 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 um, I'm going to put who made the link, in other words. Okay. I'll just put who made the link okay. so that we can refer back to you if we need to. So this is it's a little bit of a complicated process. It's not an automated process. Uh, we do have uh, some people who are working on automating it, but I kind of like the idea of us being a little group and working together. I'm trying to empower BCs and soloists. This is what I first started out. When you do a book, um, so that you could make sure your book was linked on Wikipedia. But then it kind of grew into, wow, we could have a little army of people that do this. Like we have a bunch of, we have like a little um, group of people that make covers. And it's like, it's like a little family. And we could have a little group of people that make Wikipedia links. And, and don't lose interest. So there, it, there it is. That's as far as I've been able to take this. What Who has access to this spreadsheet here? I have access to it. I didn't create it. And right. right now, uh, David, that's right. His name is David Olson. Look there. Last edit was made on November 18th, yeah. 2020 by David Olson. And I am also able to make edits on this sheet. But uh, without his permission, you can't make edits on the sheet. I don't know how he's, he may, he may want to, to let everybody that's making changes make their own edits on the sheet. The last time I talked to him, he said he was very leery of letting you know, a whole yeah. bunch. Yeah, you don't want to just let everybody who But what about, to. um, look, instead of making changes, just looking at it, just so people can see which ones still need to be edited, and then you can get the army editing. Yeah. <laughs> Volunteers. Sure, I guess, I guess uh, that would be a way to do that. Um, I saw yeah, that there were a lot know, of them were, that, that weren't linked yet. I was just thinking that you probably we could get some people on it to link everything. Well, a lot of them don't have a Wikipedia right. page. Like the, the more minor books and, and, and the short story collections and stuff aren't going to need links. Ah, uh, but those those that need, maybe we could, do we also create Wikipedia pages if there's none? Yes, that's somebody a whole, wrote that's a, that's that a whole different presentation, but yes, that's definitely something that <laughs> is doable, but not not today, not on. I'm, but somebody I'm wrote that in our that discussion, right in our Zoom discussion. I think that was you, Michelle. That somebody was trying to do an author page. No, was that that, I think that was me. I did oh, that. Okay. I did that last spring, and I don't. I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh, Wiki, my God. Wikipedia I got such, seems like a whole rabbit hole. I got awful feedback. I got pushback. I and, and I was bound to determine that that I had oh. a legitimate article to publish and find. Oh, that's that right. Through. I remember that. Yeah, they can. The people over at Wikipedia have a reputation for being a bit nasty. If you, <laughs> if if you try to, I mean, it is a it's a worldwide encyclopedia. They're trying to keep it accurate. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, you know. Uh, there's a lot of news is starting to creep in, not just history, but but news, and a lot of that is is very partisan. So, I'm yeah, sure people want to control the narrative, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. that's exactly, exactly right. But but we at LibriVox don't have to do that. We are authorized if we do it right. We can do this. So I'm going to show you. I have this sheet of paper. It's two sheets. It's Create. Two I can't. We can't see it. Create Wikipedia. Okay, you have two sheets of paper. All right, I got it now. Thank two you. Two sheets of paper, and I'm going to post this somewhere, and I'll post a link to it somewhere. <laughs> I just haven't worked out with Phil, Trisha, or whoever where the best place to put that. I was kind of hoping she'd be here today. 
Okay, but, could um, you could you open up the LibriVox um, forum page of uh, like volunteers other projects, please, sure. Michelle, and and share your screen. Yeah, I want to see I'm if anybody how we would get to this this information. Uh, that's the logical place I would go. I would go to the LibriVox forum page of um, other stuff. Okay, you want me to go to the LibriVox forum page? I think everybody can see my screen, I guess. Yes, we can. There's the Thank forum you. page. Go to okay. uh, Help Wanted. Help you Wanted go. Suggestions. Where is it? Help Comments? Wanted. Where volunteers would this... Wanted. Oh, volunteer, volunteers Wanted oh, Other volunteers Projects. Wanted. That's, that's, where that's, we're it. that's it. Let's go I to that page. We're looking for something else. I mean, suppose I say, oh, I want to go review all this information. I would think it should be put right there where LibriVox at Wikipedia links. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? That's very clear can, to me. I can I can post a reply and I can say this is where you can find the create Wikipedia or, or could you, page links. Could you edit that initial post? No, I can't edit this. Oh, this is locked. Post. Can David? No, I can. No, I can post a reply. Okay, you see. Get lost. See, I can post a reply, and words, I can say you... that the the um, edit the tutorial, the tutorial video is here, and the tutorial page referred to is here, and I can upload that page to my um, OneDrive. But and that I can gets lost. Say Remember. that again, Grace. Th then it gets um, yeah. If, if it was a very very active thing, it might get lost. Or maybe well, we could is... get Mr. Mr. David to put it to put it on his page. He could be. He could no, do no. That what we're talking nicely. about here is 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 posting the link for this video. I'm going to put this in this forum at the bottom, and you're going to okay. put the the actual the pages. Okay, but I'll then the, to, the next step, to, yeah. the next step is to add all this to our wiki, which I'm going to ask you to go yes, to. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm, oh, I can add it to the wiki. I just haven't figured out where yet. Well, let's look okay, at the wiki. Can you open up all the wiki? I can wonderful... open up the wiki. Yes, you can. Right yes, up in here at the top, it says guides for listeners and volunteers. There it says LibriVox wiki. Let's open up that. Because that's where I would go for more information. And if you did a search for um, uh, Wikipedia links, Wikipedia links, or something like that, let's see what let's see what we got in it's there. It's probably there already. Somebody's already probably worked this out. Mm. Create, create the, the page. page. Wikipedia. I can do that. Well, let's see it there. I can well, create the page. Well, would you go back and just type in um, links, maybe? It may be there under something else. This is an old, what is the thing we're doing here? Let's see, links, podcast links no. and sign up. How to update the magic window, German, Dutch. Okay, okay, it's not in here. So you can create a so page. I, I volunteer to create a page called Wikipedia Links. And if you'll send me the, uh when you when you get post the link to this video this tutorial i'll put that in it along with the link to my my um instruction page how about that, that and would my be... little worksheet page okay the three so, of them. yeah because that that's my idea i'm gonna forget and I, I would like to be able to go in and know where to go so if you would do okay. that i want to thank you Michelle, you did a tremendous amount of work here, and the the tutorial I thought went very well. I followed you right along the way there. Mm -hmm. I, I just got a little con concerned when I when you would say copy and paste this text, and I didn't I wouldn't know where I to know. go. I didn't do but that. Now I didn't gonna... do that well. I'm sorry. Oh, you did great. The little if you open the little worksheet, the little notepad worksheet, and have it open before you start your before you start your task, and as you go along, just paste in the links, paste in the information, just like I said to do on creating um, okay. covers, you'll be all right. Okay. Okay? Wait a minute. All right. I'm Yay, going to, Michelle. I'm, gonna, <laughs> um, I'm Mary going said to, to yes. what are you going to do? I'm going to stop my share now. 
Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you. So I want to appreciate all the work you've done. This is this is tremendous. And it's in directly in line with what we're trying to do, which was to give access to the world to our audio books, make it easier for them to find if some obscure author, they could say, whoa, there's a there's an audio. Somebody recorded this weird book. Um, and I can go and listen so, to it. So I have to say this. The main point is not we're not promoting LibriVox. This is not what we're doing. Mm -mm. We're making we're making uh, the world better for readers and listeners to be able to find material. Yes. Okay. That's Beautiful. very important distinction. And I pre oh wait a minute. If we're I librarians and archivists, not marketers. There yes. you go. Yes. Perfect. We're not marketing ourselves and we're not bragging on our solos, although we might we might make the link to it and be oh, sure. proud of it. But we are mostly, what did you say? Archivists. We're, what did you say? We're archivists and librarians. Archivists. Not, not yes, uh, exactly. John, who is John? Are you with us, John? I don't see John. Uh, anyway, thank you again, Michelle. Does anybody have any questions now? Let's talk, let's deal with questions on this. Y'all can PM me anytime. Ms. Fry, it's really easy. Put okay. me in your friends. This is, this is great right stuff. There. And I may do a session or have a session on M4Bs, which is, I that would be have nice. no idea what that is, but apparently we have a salt. Lots of hard work. <laughs> it's hard work. It is? Yeah, I remember I did those years because it's putting, um, I think it's putting like one book into <laughs> one file so that it's yeah. not all separate chapters. It's all together. Oh, and, yeah. You have to put it all in. Well, look, whatever it is, it's it's something that is obviously a useful adjunct to to our audio books. Um, I want to. OK, well, thank you, Michelle. Again, you did a great job. Um, your tutorials are just spiffing along. What's your next project? <laughs> OK, I'm not going to. I do have a couple, but I'm going to redo. I have to redo my covers because it didn't get recorded. Um, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I'm, you know, I'm going to do it better next time. It'll be under an hour. It was an hour and a half last time because I didn't know what I was doing. Now I can make it better. You can make it better. It's, right. it's skill. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? It's like I could make this one better, Comments? but I'm not going to redo it. Grace, Colleen, okay. Okay. Mary. I, I, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Grace. I, you know, I, I, after what I went through in the spring, I am so excited about that. You, it looks like you've made this really smooth, Michelle. I'm, Thank you. That's good. good. Very good. I've, right. been, I've, been, I've been working at it a couple of months, and I've had some volunteers who have uh, sent them the... Um, sent them the instructions and they got all turned around and confused. Phil was one of them. And Bill was, mm -hmm. Bill Jones was another one who helped me work out some of the kinks. And there may still be a few more, um, but eventually we'll get it. We'll get it right. And we're going to get everything linked to, I hope. It's That'll so be good. Great. Great. We're doing Grace, great, did you folks. succeed? Did you succeed, Grace? Yes. Yes. Oh, yay. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have not put a link yet. I tried twice and I didn't fail. I'm going to, I'm going to do it right this time. Um, what did I want to talk? I wanted to mention about the fact that we are going to be having another zoom session. I guess I'll be hosting it on recording. This is a microphone. Y'all are aware of what these things do. They, they take your sound. They take. Oh, anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. And, yeah. And they transfer it into digital it's magic, but I'd like to have another session this time or a good first <laughs> session. Yeah, a little ball. It's a nice one, Mary. <laughs> See, that's great. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking of getting one of those. I like this thing too. Yeah, the, the round thing, because I don't have to worry about the, the, the filter. Anyway, to talk about recording setups, what have you tried? I've been doing this for 10 years now, and I've tried and discarded many things. And I've tried a few things that worked. Um, Somebody on the forums asked a question about interfaces, you know, these big interfaces with with all these buttons yeah. and dials and and audio engineers understand that I tried it and I worked with it for four years before I gave up. Uh, mm. It's just lack of knowledge, but I'd like to do that to feed back and talk about what works for me, uh, what works, what, what's worked in the past, what's what what what's going on with my recording setup. 
um, I so, think it'll you know, be a fun I, session. Um, not not to hog the microphone, but I had a talk with John Greenman. Now, he's one of the one of our you know premier readers. He does all the Mark Twain things. Oh yes. And when I first got on LibriVox, I ran across an article, a newspaper article that was posted to one of the forums, where he was interviewed, and he, there was a picture of his entire recording studio. And so I PM'd him a couple months ago and said, if we do something on microphones, would you be willing to make a presentation? And he said, yes, he would love to. So maybe we could tap a few other of our readers that have, you know, superlative audio quality. I'm not talking about how good do you read, but how good is your audio quality? Yeah, it's audio quality. we could quality. have them share. You know, we could tap them on the shoulder and say, could you come and share with us, you know, your audio setup? Okay. Equipment, room, equipment. Uh, just mainly equipment and room, you know, that sort of thing. I'd love to know more about that. Well, anyway, we're going to be doing that. I just wanted to mention it. It is now 2.55 in the afternoon. We don't have to stop this at 3. But, Good. But generally, uh, you know, we do, but us people do things. I want to talk about books. Now, I have a share screen. I'm going to get coffee. Share screen. We'll be back in a minute. Well, oh nope, that's all lost. I'm looking for something <laughs> for my room. Yeah, um, I'm trying to keep my grandchildren out. By the way, these are y'all. Can y'all see my screen? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. I hear a bird. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Oh, he's nice. Yeah. He's happy. Well, I I kept up my. Anyway, um, what books are coming out, or what books have come out? I had it, I had it there. I'll have to look for it again. Um, that people may be interested in recording. Oh, the the oh. public public domain from nineteen twenty five. Twenty one. Yeah, I, I I saw it a second ago. Be. Uh, Oh, um, I found I found my list. If you if you, there you go. The Great Gatsby's coming out there, huh? We're already working on oh. it. Okay, well you got who's got the list? I I I made a list just of like titles that I recognized, but that's um, that's going to be more thorough. This is nineteen. This is um nineteen twenty one. Oh, two thousand twenty one. Okay, yeah. There's a page on Wikipedia, uh, 2021 in public domain, which was- Why, uh, thank you. I just, I found that. Th this That's is got a, I, I had a not much better website. It was really simple and, and easy. It had fun things on there and I'm looking for it. I don't see it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, okay. Who's got the list? Who wants to read the most popular books? Any, do we want to talk about this? Well, we started a dramatic reading for Great Gaps Gatsby already. Oh wow! Yeah, I I started it on uh, January first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I had the I had the scripts already ready because uh, oh. I have the book at home. Um, could I could I mention some stuff from my list? Sure. Um, this this was just um, kind of casting around and and looking at um the books that were published in 1925 and writing down titles and authors that i recognized so there were others on the list and they may be famous but i didn't know them um there's uh mrs dalloway by virginia wolf yeah um that's new, been started <laughs> yeah and i was listening for that the other day um an american tragedy by theodore dreiser oh my god you're kidding no, I was. My I, father made me type that book to teach me how to type. Oh, oh my! <laughs> oh my god! I hated him for years, but I was typing ninety words a minute by the time I was over. Wow. <laughs> um, there's a there's a. That's um, American tragedy, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Well, he thought I was a very lazy girl, and all I did was loll around and read books. So he grabbed the book out of my hand and said, "Here's a typewriter. Sit down and type it. Go get it, and then go get a job as a secretary." And I did. Oh, 
<laughs> hey, well, I guess it was a happy end to the American tragedy. <laughs> I had to type eight hours a day with a oh break. Oh my gosh, that is not a I mean, eight hours he, he was really angry with me. Mm-hmm. Wow. You were in trouble. But I got I landed a good job. <laughs> so, wow. And I hated and I actually hated the book. I just was I mean, I was like nineteen I was I think I was nineteen at the time and I I guess I was just lollygagging along and read I love to read books. And... Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be recording that one. Okay. Anyways. Um so okay. the um I don't, I don't recognize these titles, but I recognize the authors, um, Sherwood Anderson, um, Dark Laughter, and Willa Cather, The Professor's House. So I guess these are more minor works by them. Um, Hemingway, In Our Time, is a short stories collection, which yeah. I think um, people have been recording some of the short stories as they've come into public domain from magazine publications, but um, the whole collection's out there now. Um, ah. Sinclair Lewis, Aerosmith, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Somerset Mom, Painted Veil, that's another big one. Um, Anita Luce, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. I didn't realize that was a book. I thought it was just a movie. <laughs> um, okay. And then uh, for, the, for the sort of more popular authors that are um, popular with LibriVox people, but not necessarily like classics, Baroness Orksy has two titles that were published in 1925, mm. and Edgar Wallace has five. Mm. Um, H.G. Wells has a, I think it's a novella called Christina Alberta's Father. Um, Let me write that down. P.G. P. G. Woodhouse, Carry On Jeeves. Surprised that one isn't started yet. Um, and here's one for you, Phil. Uh, Dr. Doolittle Zoo. Another, uh, oh, another, oh, you know what? Oh, I gotta do that one. Yeah, I'm sure and, it's been done before. And there's a Wizard of Oz, Lost King of Oz, which is one of the Ruth Thompson ones. Okay, yes. Um, and the two that I'm excited about is, um, Alan Locke, the New Negro Anthology. That was a huge, um, publication at the time. That was really where the Harlem Renaissance broke into mainstream consciousness. So it's pretty much every famous black writer at the moment um, is in that anthology. Um, and the Are other you one. Post this for us because I'm yeah, trying to write down Fast and Furious. Yeah, no, 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 I'll, 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 I'll post it. Um, the thing is, there aren't links to many of these yet because um, the American mm -hmm. Libraries still has the 1925 yeah. stuff locked down, so it's under Books to Borrow instead of that. So I'm waiting for mm -hmm. them to appear. And if you get it from another source, like a lot of them are in Public Library of India, um, a lot of them have like later edition copyrights. So I'm a little leery about using them, even if it's a later printing, but it'll, it'll be like printed in 1932. Even if it's the same text, I'm a little cautious about that. Um, the other one that I'm personally excited about is um, John Dos Passos, Manhattan Transfer. Yeah. Um, the oh, first of his USA trilogy. Oh, I love That's that like, one too. It's a really cool book. It's it's modernist. It's very impressionistic. Um, and mm -hmm. normally, I don't like like literature for the sake of literature. I like stuff with plots, but I really like that book. So I'm excited about that one. Um, and a couple I want to throw out there that I'm not sure um, are like going to be PD for us. Um, one is uh, Kafka's The Trial was published, but I'm not sure if the English translation was published in 1925. And the other one I'm not sure of that I was kind of excited about was, um, well, there's two. Um, Garcia Lorca, The Billy Club Puppets, it was um, a play by him. And he was, he wrote in, I think he wrote in Spanish, so the translation may not be out yet. And the other mm -hmm. one that sounded really interesting was Zora Neale Hurston, Color Struck. But I don't think it was printed up or performed that year. It may have been published in a magazine or something. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of iffy, and I'm not sure about that one. But if it's available, I would love to see us do that. Um, two other plays I wanted to throw out there is um, George Kelly, Craig's Wife. Um, I don't know much about it, but it won the Pulitzer that year for drama, and it's been made into a movie like two or three times. 
And the other is um, there's two Noel Coward plays, Hay Fever and Fallen Angels. So those are probably fun. So you're yeah. going to put those in what uh, book suggestions or something like that? Yeah. And like, like I said, I was put, I was holding off on putting it up there because I didn't, um, I, I wasn't sure about linking to them, like linking to, to text, but I can just put the list out there and be like, these are yeah. books to look for. Right. Yeah, there's a group yeah, of people who are very good at finding texts. I, I, I did that with Gatsby. They, there's a group that uh, I don't even know who, who found it, but I know that there are people who are good at finding texts. Oh, yeah. I was looking at Craig's wife to do that play. Uh, I'm that I'm that, that really interests yeah, me. I just, yeah. I just saw that. You want to participate, Colleen? Um, I signed up for my first play. So yay! I'm, I'm, which one? I'm, they're on, you know, the, um, uh, they're all London back. Assurance. They're in the sunroom. I haven't seen. I haven't seen it. It just did. It just start. Um, it started a couple of weeks ago. Um, ah. and uh, I signed up to be the maid. So there's like eight lines. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going. I actually was working myself up to trying to record it today, but um, it was a planes, trains, and automobiles day. Um, <laughs> The, I'm right next to the airport and the plane, the plane approach route this morning was like right over our house. So when the oh, weather dear. shifts, it'll, it'll be further away and it'll be easier again. I was so. thinking of coming back to you, Colleen, because you offered to do scripts and I, I, I spent oh, a lot right. of time on that Gatsby script. I was thinking of you the whole time. <laughs> so maybe yeah. for a future project, I'll, <laughs> yeah, it takes a long time to do those um, scripts. PM, like I, I'd be interested. I'm not, like I said, I'm not interested in running the project, but if there's a project uh -huh. that you want to run that you just don't have time to make the script, let me know. Definitely. I'll, I will contact you. That's the kind, <laughs> that's that's the of, kind of thing that I do yeah. instead of, instead of writing when I have a deadline and I'm procrastinating. <laughs> oh, I love those oh. projects. Yeah. Pro I'll help you procrastinate. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's you 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 can tell when when uh, when I've got a writing assignment due. That's when I start making like elaborate lists in the book suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> we, we appreciate that. Yes, Mary? Colleen. Yeah. yeah. Since I was thinking, since since you're looking for stuff from 1925, I've started working on, uh, and I had never ever done any any big projects with LibriVox. But uh -huh. one of the things I started working on is. This year's the 200th anniversary of the Saturday Evening Post, so I've been working a little bit with oh, Patricia, with I think reluctantly, and then um, Kevin and uh, Maria Casper, you know, Comma Sparrow 3. And anyway, there's some links. They don't have a lot of the old issues of the Post, but there's some links on, what is it, Hathid Trust um, has mm -hmm. links to a whole bunch of the Saturday Ar Evening Post Archive from 19... Has some. Yeah, Archive has some, and... Mm -hmm. uh, Anyway, I'll, I'll send, they've got, they've got several in there from the 1920s mm -hmm. and there's a few from 1925. So it's a good source to see like serials and short stories that were done in the post. Yeah. And, and you might be able to find authors and stuff you hadn't seen before. My, so my I'll go ahead and I'll, big I'll frustration with, on with that. that is that it's really hard to read online because of the, the size of the pages versus the size of the type. Um, yeah. and, and all of the stories are continued. So it's really hard to tell how long anything is. Well, it, what, I, what I've been doing is like, I've got, I've put it together a document. And I've got like the link to the Saturday evening post stories. Like, you know, it starts on page one, two, and three of this issue. Then it goes to page 45 and stuff. But when there's other links, like if it was, if it's been included in Gutenberg or archive, I include both those links. Good. So that way you get the Saturday oh, okay. link so you can and, then, read. and then you get the link that's easier to read. Yeah. Because oh. I, I had to start I, I I love digging around in the old magazines. I've been going nuts with like um uh, black mask and stuff like that for the detective stories. Yeah. But um and I, I look through stuff like like Good Housekeeping and Women's Day and uh, was it Women's Day back then? No, Red Book. Um uh -huh. And so I, I'd come across Saturday Evening Post and, and tried to read some of it, but it's just so hard to read it in those, they in those are, PDF yeah. scans. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then to find the to find the pages that it continued over to, because everything is like two pages of the story, and then it's like see page forty five, and you go to page forty five, and it's like turn to page fifty two, and then you go to page seventy five, and there's like one half of a column down in the corner. So. So as far as thinking about trying to record them, it's really hard to even guesstimate how long these these books are. 
Yeah, these what I can are... do is I, I'm working on a document to make it easier. I'll, I'll PM you and I'll send you the document okay. that I'm working on so you can see what I'm doing. Cause it, and, and the trouble with doing it in the magazine is you get so distracted by everything that's in there. Yeah, you know, well, you go to look at something, too. then you then you get distracted. Then you start and, then you start reading the ads and admiring the artwork and all that. Right. Kind of yeah. Stuff. Yeah. I and I always oh, end up going down. What, Betty? Did you read yes. something? No, I'm gonna put um, in just a minute. No, I mean I'm not asking you to do it. I'm just checking to see. If oh, I ate. Yes, I'm. I'm fine. Okay. Thank so, you, dear. Oh, no. I want to take this opportunity. I have to to go, and I wanted to thank everybody. I'll be joining you in the future as well. This was very nice. I learned a lot. Thank, thank you very Good much. To see you. <laughs> yeah, I really like this. I, I like I like seeing faces and hearing voices of um, the people that I've been seeing in text for so long. Me too. Me too. I think it's great. Um, oh, listen. <laughs> I'm going to really pause nice. the recording because it's awfully long now. Okay. Yeah. But, okay. Yes. I'll say this. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. Thank you. I think it's you want to stop clock.